Y'all, this is by far the worst thing I've ever had in my lawn, and it's not even close. Surely I'm talking about all this crabgrass. Hmm, nope. How about the big piles of dog poop surrounded by nut sedge? Eh, try again. It's gotta be all the field grass going to seed. Nope. Oh, but it did come out of that field, and it's far worse than I could have ever imagined. Fresh off of a family vacation at the beach, to come home to a field full of hay bales and shortcut field grass, only to find that some new friends had found their way to my lawn from the field. Oh my gosh, I hate these things so much. You've probably guessed it by now. Mice. Oh, oh, all along the fence line, they're finding their way through the brush and eating my Bermuda grass. What in the world was I gonna do about it? Well, I'm gonna tell you three things. Let's get into it. Sally, come here. Hey, hey, before I get started, let me tell you about how terrible she was at keeping the mice away. I thought, oh man, surely they're gonna be scared of a dog in the backyard. Uh, could I have been any more wrong? Absolutely not. Apparently those little critters like to eat dog poop. And of course, you know, the big piles in the yard sure aren't gonna keep them away. They're just gonna attract them into the back lawn. Hey, Sally, I appreciate your valiant effort, but I had to try three other things. Of course, you know what my first option would have been. I would have just gotten a little air rifle or BB gun and said pew, 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 and knocked all those little critters out. But I got a wife that was like, oh no, please don't do that. I can't bear to think about those poor little mice dying and their mamas and daddies being gone. Blah, blah, blah. So I said, you know what? I will try to do this as humanely and uh, with as little death as possible. So I tried two things that just completely failed just to kind of keep the peace in my house. And here's the first one. I started doing some research and everything I read said, oh, hey, just get you an all natural animal repellent. They hate the smell of peppermint, peppermint oil. Just go out in the back lawn and pew, 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 pew. I was doing that every single evening because you know, that was the best time to spray. So every evening I'm out there after rainfall, I'm out there, boop, I mean, if you want to talk about something that will just keep attracting the mice to the lawn, I guess they like the smell of peppermint oil. This stuff was it. I will say though, it has kept the rabbits away. So we're batting 500 for the old animal repellent, but still I had a mouse problem. So we moved on to solution number two. All right, Hootie, it's your turn. Sally sucked. You're getting assigned to a new post. Let's do it. So I had this plastic owl in the garage. I got it several years ago to keep birds off the back patio during the fall and winter time. They were just getting in there to stay warm, but they just crapped all over the patio furniture and concrete and they were driving me nuts. I had this on the front porch because now at the new house, they're trying to build their nests out there on the front porch and well, I didn't want that either. So I thought, well, let me give old Hootie, I like to call him a shot in the backyard. Brought him out here, set him up against the fence and I thought, surely they'll see this old owl and they'll run and hide. <laughs> well, guess what? Hootie sat there. The mice usually came out right here. Guess what they did? Well, she wasn't working, so they just came into the yard down here. I realized real quickly I had a huge problem in my hands and I had to take drastic measures. failing for far too long, I knew I had no other option but to turn to lethal force. The owls weren't doing it for me, the snakes weren't doing it for me, and the hawks weren't doing it for me. So I did some research and I got the Crossman Legacy 1000 with the Crossman Premier Hollow Point Pellets. Look, this isn't something I wanted to do. These critters were eating up the grass one thing, but fall is just right around the corner. 
and you know how these things are they multiply and when it gets cold and their food source is scarce they try to find a warm place and an abundant food supply and in this case would likely have been our garage and ultimately maybe our home so i'm trying to control this population the best i can i did everything i could to do it without having to do this but i will say one thing this little air rifle for the price has been amazing okay i haven't shot a bb gun or an air rifle since i was just a wee little lad so i did some research online i didn't want to spend a whole lot but i wanted something accurate that could help me solve my problem and this checked all the boxes. For around 50 bucks, I picked this thing up, add in the hollow point pellets, and I think I was out the door at around $57 off of Amazon. Is this like some fancy, sturdy, well-built air rifle? No, absolutely not. It's plastic, got a little metal on there, but it absolutely got the job done you can shoot hollow point pellets out of it you can load it full of bbs since i'm firing it small game the hollow point pellets were the best option to take care of things as quickly as possible with really no suffering on the mice's part mice's mouses you get it so one pellet at a time you can pump this thing at a maximum of 12 and I have found that 10 to 12 pellets with a good aim does exactly what I want it to and I don't need to go any more detail than that but as I said I hadn't shot one of these in forever so I was really hoping that this thing was very very accurate so what do you think the first thing I did was <laughs> I did what any true southerner would do I set up a Budweiser can and <laughs> Took some target practice for a little while and bing, bing, bing. every time I shot, it hit. So I knew I had the right tool to do what I needed to. And uh, four pellets, four shots, four mice, problem solved. So if you're in the need, I get all the time people ask me about moles and voles and look, yeah, those are burrowing underground. I'm glad I didn't have to deal with those. Traps may be your best option. For those but if you're dealing with other pests and vermits and varmints and whatever and mice and rats and rabbits if they're just eating up your garden look you can try other things animal deterrents you can try like rubber snakes and plastic owls things to deter them away scents and things of that nature but if all else fails and you have to turn to something to really just rid your lawn of the problem. The Crossman Legacy 1000 air rifle for pellets or BB guns is a great option and you don't even have to be an experienced shooter to have success. All right, my friends, that's it for you on this edition of Budget Lawns. I hope you enjoyed this and found it helpful if you're dealing with any pesky animals in your lawn. This is the way to go if nothing else works for you. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, drop me a comment down below, and subscribe if you hadn't already, and we'll see you next time.